Hey, hello YouTubers. How's it going? This is uh, Todd at the workbench here and uh, just uh, making a new video here. Now it's been a long time since I've made a video and uh, so I thought I'd just go ahead and, and make up a little video here. I got some uh, uh, cars to weather for a, a customer of mine, Matt Kenyon. And uh, so I thought maybe I'd uh, share those with you a little bit here and see, show you what I'm going to do to them. Um, first of all, uh, Matt sent me some uh, pretty nice cars. He's uh, he's upgrading some of his uh, uh, Roan stock fleet, and so uh, he uh, he's picked up a couple of nice cars that I'm going to do up for him here. One of them is this here uh, uh, Atlas. Uh, covered hopper uh, chassis system Matt really gets into the chassis so uh, we're gonna weather this car up for him here kind of a nice covered hopper there and uh, Atlas does a pretty good job on these cars so uh, let me show you how I'm gonna weather this up Matt sent me a picture and uh, of uh, how he wants the thing weathered so uh, hold this up here and this is this is how we're gonna do the one side of it here. Pretty cool. It's uh, I don't know what kind of chemicals this car holds, but it sure did a mess on that paint, didn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna try and uh, duplicate that, and then uh, then on the other side we're gonna try and try and do it something like that. And uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing some of this. We're not gonna look exactly like these pictures, but. Uh, it's going to be pretty close. We'll we'll throw some new uh, some new techniques in there and fun stuff like that. I'm kind of excited. And so for the second car that uh, Matt sent me, it's this little tiny uh, one of these little jobs here from Ath Al Ather, I believe it is. Yeah, Ather. Uh, one of these little two bay covered hoppers. And so kind of cool little chassis cat on there <laughs> kind of cool so um, what I got figured on doing Matt sent me this picture of this guy and uh, boy that's a mess isn't it look at that so we're gonna try and, and duplicate that uh, not not inch for inch but we're gonna kind of come close to it I've got some ideas on how I'm gonna do the patch out lettering and uh, stuff like that so we'll we'll see how that goes along and uh, gonna try and do a little videoing of that to see how that works out uh, you guys might notice I've got a new camera here uh, that I picked up it's a new webcam so uh, we're gonna see how uh, getting this uh, some close-up shots of some of the things I'm doing maybe uh, some overhead shots of uh, me weathering and stuff and uh, so we'll see how that works out but uh, I've also got another car to do for Matt it's a it's a uh, coil steel uh, cushion coil car um, that he picked up. Um, Got to have a talk with him about that. Be sure. a, I know what he wants on that one, so I won't show you that one just yet. Uh, we'll probably uh, make another video of that one. So anyway, uh, part of the reason that I've, I've not uh, made a video for so long is that I've uh, been working with a local hobby shop uh, owner. Uh, in my area guy that I've known for about 30 years and uh, he's got a lot of old product that he has on his store shelves and so we've been going through that and uh, he's got some some pretty old uh, uh, Athern and stuff or he's had <laughs> we've put a lot of it on eBay we've got an eBay store it's uh, called hobby on um, and uh, also I've been helping him out with his website which is hobby on some of you guys probably have seen that uh, on the YouTube uh, model builders Facebook group and, and things like that but uh, uh, so uh, if uh, if you guys go over to to uh, eBay you can kind of check out all the things that uh, we've been listing on there and uh, uh, we th I think there's some pretty good deals on there we've been offering free shipping on a lot of stuff and so but uh, I hope to get back into making a few more videos for you here uh, it's kind of tough when when you have a job <laughs> so anyway so much for my semi-retirement anyway um, so that's just kind of a quick video where we're at I'm gonna 
kind of tack on another video to the end of this showing some of the techniques I'm going to use on how to weather these cars and uh, probably be a part two maybe even a part three so uh, anyway thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit here In the last segment, we uh, talked about <clears throat> me wanting to get a hold of Matt Kenyon about uh, uh, a photograph that he sent me. This is uh, a coil car, a picture of a coil car that he sent me. And the uh, uh, funny thing is, is that uh, the car he sent me is, is uh, one of these new Atlas 42-foot uh, 40 foot, uh, coil steel cars. So I was a little bit uh, perplexed as to uh, what Matt actually wanted me to do with it, because so, <laughs> it doesn't doesn't resemble the car very much in the in the photograph. So uh, mm -hmm. got a hold of Matt, and uh, we discussed a few things, and uh, he decided that just uh, he just wanted it to basically look like uh, one of the cars that he that we see running down the the rails. So. Uh, I looked at quite a few uh, of the coil cars, these 42 footers, and uh, decided that uh, probably what I'd do is, is do something similar to what I would see in there. A lot of these cars uh, do not have a lot of the uh, rust that you see on the photograph there. Um, let's see if I can get around to the, to the front end of this. Um, and as you'll kind of notice there uh, the wheels and that probably uh, are what the underbodies get the most dirt and rust on them and uh, grime and stuff uh, a little bit of kick up on the end there so that's kind of how we played this uh, I do have a little bit of graffiti that I put down on the on the lower end of, of the car and uh, that seems to be pretty much how these cars have weathered they're still pretty new on the uh, on the rails and so uh, they don't really have a, a lot of uh, uh, rust and, and gunk up on the hoods yet uh, some of them do but most of them most of them basically just have a lot of graffiti on them and uh, I, the taggers really like these because they have a lot of a lot of open space to to uh, deal with uh, putting the graffiti that they they want to put on there so so that's how I chose to do this car for Matt, and uh, it just so happens that I was uh, in the process of finishing up a car that uh, uh, more closely resembles what's in the photograph there. So uh, uh, I went ahead and sent some pictures out to Matt, and he he ended up really liking it. So we think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna send this one to him. He's really interested in picking this up from me so uh, this is a angular hood coil steel car but as you can see it's a CNO car and uh, pretty pretty neat little car I ended up uh, picking this up uh, in a, uh, a trade that I did with a guy and uh, but uh, some of the stirrups on the bottom were were kind of junky so I ended up cutting them off and I put them with put wire ones on there and uh, it did have KD couplers but uh, so I went ahead and weathered it up and uh, when I sent these pictures to Matt he was really excited about it so I'm glad to, glad I was able to get to get something going for him um, and it does does look more like what's what he's looking for in the uh, in the picture there. Give a little bit of a sorry about the camera movement there, but uh, I'm trying to get this as unmovable as possible here. So anyway, uh, hang on just a second. We'll. Uh, Okay, well, if you remember, uh, Matt sent me a little two-bay covered hopper, and uh, 
to weather up and uh, so this is what I came up with for it this is uh, I kept the same reporting marks this is a Western Maryland Chessie car and uh, decided I wanted to keep the the flavor of the thing um, I didn't change it to uh, CSX reporting marks. Um, wanted to leave it Western Maryland, but uh, I'll go. I didn't get a chance to video uh, what I did, but I'll go ahead and talk about what I did with the the car and uh, maybe try and explain some of my processes here. Uh, the first thing I did to the car was I used some scotch tape, uh, just good old-fashioned, you know, magic tape, <laughs> and uh, I uh, put the tape over this area on the car right here and on this uh, consolidated lube stencil that you're seeing here. i got to keep find something to keep that from rolling away on me. Um, So that's what I did with that was to get the uh, uh, some tape on there first, and then uh, I started by uh, getting my my overall uh, weathering basic weathering on there using an airbrush uh, and some some dark chalk, uh, grimy black chalk, and then uh, when I had that process on there. I went ahead and put the graffiti decals on the side of the car right over the magic tape. And uh, once I got those uh, snuggled down with some solvent and that, um, I, uh, I cut out around the magic tape. And then uh, uh, this, is, this is actually after I'd gotten on some of the dry brushing. The dry brushing at the top is just white and it's it's kind of to simulate what you see in the photograph um, just a little bit of white powdery stuff that that came down the car and, and onto the trucks uh, and then uh, kind of gave uh, while I was doing that I, I kind of went through and uh, added some some powders to the to the ends of the car rusting up the trucks and uh, I think on this this hand over here I actually did a, a patch out what makes it look like the patch out on the uh, end of the car if you can see that there and uh, so back to this side I uh, went ahead and finished up the the weathering there and then uh, pulled off the tape to reveal the clean areas uh, under the lettering and uh, around the lube stencil there and then uh, one of the one of the uh, final things I did which I think is one of the best things on here is I applied the uh, safety stripes from uh, highways and byways John did such a great job on these things. These are probably the best product I think I've used. Um, they are, they're just so simple to use. Um, Derek Glass had a little uh, presentation that he did on these things. and uh, So I took his advice and, and uh, uh, used uh, and cut them to, to length the way Derek uh, to tells you how to do it in his video uh, or in his uh, presentation there. And... Uh, Boy, they just work out slick, and uh, you can take the end of a, a paintbrush or uh, uh, like a blunt end toothpick, and you can burnish them down, and uh, they they just really look fantastic. I think that they they really add a lot to this car. And so here's the opposite side that I did up of the car, and uh, I think the uh, the weathering the the little whitewash weathering shows a little bit better on this side and uh, so I, I really I'm really pleased with the way that turned out um, it, it's a it's a, a nice effect and uh, 
I, I specifically like the uh, uh, the stripes that are on there. I was a little bit leery about using those, and after I watched Derek's video and read his, his presentation and what have you, uh, made me feel a whole lot better about uh, using those. And uh, boy, they just they just worked out pretty slick. So I'm very happy with the with the way that turned out. And I really appreciate John making those available to us. So um, I'll change this setup here. I want to show you this other car that I did. Just bear with me here a sec. You guys remember I had a an Atlas uh, covered hopper that uh, Matt sent me. And uh, let me put a piece of tape on this. Hold on a sec. Okay, let me probably hold it. So there's the the one side of the covered hopper. And uh, here's the uh, here's the car how I did it. Now I did not want to duplicate this car inch for inch uh, because that wasn't my goal. I just wanted to give an, a representation of how the the car is. I think it turned out really good. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, again, it's just this is just a dry brushing of white on the top of the car. And uh, again, I used the, the scotch tape to uh, mask out the uh, Western Maryland, the road number. I didn't do the uh, lube stencil on this side because, uh, as you could might have seen in the photograph, let me see if I can show you in the photograph there. Uh, the lube stencil in the photograph has a, sort of a smear of something going over it, so I wanted to, to simulate that. Apologize for the camera shake in there. And uh, so the top of the car also got that same treatment. I think you can see that there. It uh, just completely whitewashed up there and uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, really pleased with that. And of course, I used John's stripes again on the side of the car. Uh, fantastic. Just uh, I can't say enough about those stripes. They they just make things so much better, and they're so easy to use. So uh, if you got, if you guys haven't got them yet, you better get them because I'm telling you, they're probably going to be a run on them. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm I'm thinking of cars already that I'm going to use these on. So uh, there's the other side. Now let me make sure I get this turned around. Remember, the other side of the car was just had some graffiti on it and things like that. I think you can see. A little bit in the background there how the the other side of the car I wanted to do and uh, I think I think it turned out very well it's a little bit of uh, graffiti on there and uh, again we have some of the whitewashing going down the side there for this car and uh, uh, really really pleased with how this uh, this car turned out I think Matt's really going to be excited about uh, how it turned out now on this side I did do the patch on the on the uh, road number and the uh, and the road marking and this also got uh, a patch on the uh, uh, lube stencil uh, and so uh, like I say we're we haven't completely duplicated the uh, photograph we're we're not up to the those guys at the weathering shop uh standards yet but uh but i sure think this uh car turned out well and I'm, I'm very pleased with it i think matt's going to be pleased with it and so uh i'll be uh probably in the in the not too distant future i'm going to be having uh some cars uh make a video of some cars that i will be having up for sale uh, don't know exactly when that will be, but uh, I want to do that uh, within the near future. So uh, keep 
keep looking at my channel and uh, you probably will see that video before too long. Uh, I really enjoyed doing these cars for Matt. I think they're, they turned out really well. Uh, and I, I think he's really going to love them. Again, kudos to, to John Howard at uh, Highways and Byways for those safety stripes. They really popped this car out. I'm just so pleased with those things. Um, so uh, that's it for this video. Uh, pretty much uh, going to let you go from here. I'd like to give a shout out again to, to Derek for, for doing that presentation on how to apply these safety stripes. Uh, uh, I think it worked out just great in my case and uh, like to give a couple of shout outs to a couple of crazy fellows out there. Gino Sharp, uh, Central City uh, uh, modelers there. Um, Gino's uh, got a new alter ego. If you, uh, if you guys haven't seen that, it's uh, absolutely hilarious. I'm telling you, I don't know where he, uh, where he stores up all that all that funny but uh if, if you don't find his stuff funny i tell you your laugh is broke or something you better go get it fixed but anyway uh another shout out for uh, bill graham bill keep that layout going buddy it's starting to look really great and uh so i'll uh talk to you guys later uh we'll see you later bye bye